welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast, the only podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every single Medal of Honor recipient. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode number 196 and takes place during the Vietnam War. And now, a tale of honor. William was born on the 8th of July, 1944, in Piqua, Ohio. While in junior high school, he had wanted to enlist in the U.S. Army as a Green Beret, but his parents would not give their permission to do so. After high school, William decided to join the U.S. Air Force and was headed for basic training in San Antonio on the 31st of December, 1962. During basic training, he volunteered for pararescue, completed all of the requirements, and was then assigned to the rescue squadron out of Hamilton Air Force Base in California. William received temporary duty orders to Vietnam, which, upon completion, he volunteered to return. When he returned, he was with Detachment 6, 38th Air Rescue and Recovery Squadron at Bien Hoa Air Base near Saigon. William flew almost 300 rescue missions in Vietnam, but it was his final that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Airman First Class Pitsenbarger distinguished himself by extreme valor on April 11, 1966 near Cam Mai, Republic of Vietnam, while assigned as a pararescue crew member, Detachment 6, 38th Aerospace Rescue and Recovery Squadron. On that date, Airman Pitsenbarger was aboard a rescue helicopter responding to a call for evacuation of casualties incurred in an ongoing firefight between elements of the United States Army's 1st Infantry Division and a sizable enemy force approximately 35 miles east of Saigon. With complete disregard for personal safety, Airman Pitsenbarger volunteered to ride a hoist more than 100 feet through the jungle to the ground. On the ground, he organized and coordinated rescue efforts, cared for the wounded, prepared casualties for evacuation, and ensured that the recovery operation continued in a smooth and orderly fashion. Through his personal efforts, the evacuation of the wounded was greatly expedited. As each of the nine casualties evacuated that day were recovered, Pitsenbarger refused evacuation in order to get one more wounded soldier to safety. After several pickups, one of the two rescue helicopters involved in the evacuation was struck by heavy enemy ground fire and was forced to leave the scene for an emergency landing. Airman Pitsenbarger stayed behind on the ground to perform medical duties. Shortly thereafter, the area came under sniper and mortar fire. During a subsequent attempt to evacuate the site, American forces came under heavy assault by a large Viet Cong force. When the enemy launched the assault, the evacuation was called off, and Airman Pitsenbarger took up arms and besieged infantrymen. He courageously resisted the enemy, braving intense gunfire to gather and distribute vital ammunition to American defenders. As the battle raged on, he repeatedly exposed himself to enemy fire to care for the wounded, pulled them out of the line of fire, and returned fire whenever he could, during which time he was wounded three times. Despite his wounds, he valiantly fought on, simultaneously treating as many wounded as possible. In the vicious fighting which followed, the American forces suffered 80% casualties as their perimeter was breached and Airman Pitsenbarger was finally fatally wounded. Airman Pitsenbarger exposed himself to almost certain death by staying on the ground and perished while saving the lives of wounded infantrymen. His bravery and determination exemplify the highest professional standards and traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself his unit, and the United States Air Force. Initially, William was awarded the Air Force Cross for his actions. He was the first enlisted member of the Air Force to receive the Air Force Cross, and when it was upgraded to the Medal of Honor on the 8th of December, 2000, his father and his wife received the medal from the Secretary of the Air Force. William was also posthumously promoted to Staff Sergeant on the same day. William Hart Pitsenbarger is buried in the Miami Memorial Park Cemetery, in Covington, Ohio, plot 43D, grave 2, and his name can be found on the Vietnam Wall, panel 06E, line 102. And that was a tale of honor.
Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Please head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com for more information, other ways to listen and support the podcast, and please be sure to leave a good rating and a nice review. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them on over to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.